We're here for the Thomson Reuters Changemaker event here in Hong Kong, looking at how can we drive action to change the makeup of senior leadership teams. It's time that we really need to move things from conversation to action. The case is very clear, but how are we really going to tackle women um, getting to the top and how do we galvanise real support for female talent in the pipeline? So we've spoken to a number of participants here at the summit today. We've asked them for their commitments and how they're going to push for more women in leadership roles. And here's what they had to say. So I'll continue to mentor our young female lawyers to success in our firm by showing them it's possible to have a path which suits them juggling family, work and children. Hi, I'm Adrian Moore of Edelman and my pledge is fourfold. First of all, I plan to learn about unconscious bias and try and improve my behaviour as much as possible to encourage gender equality. Secondly, is I'm going to try and influence those around me and help them to do exactly the same. Thirdly, I want to try and change my own business, bringing in policies that help encourage gender equality. And fourth, I'm going to be mentoring and sponsoring women who I think will be taking on leader positions in the future. I'm totally committed to breaking down the cultural inertia that exists in our organisation to ensure that we meet very specific three and five year goals on diversity. So for me, um, I will be continuing to work with and support the Male Allies initiative that we have kicked off and they will continue to come up with what I hope will be innovative ways in making sure that we have collaboration, awareness and execution of the issues. I will proactively nominate opportunities for women and support their career progression. So my personal pledge is to talent spot. It's one thing as senior women for us to go out and support younger women who may want to move up the career ladder, but I think it's also really important for us to go out and find and really bring forward those younger women who are ambitious, have a lot of drive and motivation to hit those senior level. My commitment is not to accept inequality and to call out any micro inequalities that I see within the workforce or within family life. I'm proud to be a leader driving diversity and inclusion and I pledge to show my support for the women in our organisation to help give them the equal opportunity to show their talents as well as everybody else. Changemakers to me is increasing the number of women in policy and decision making roles and championing more women on Hong Kong corporate boards. I'm speaking from our top Morris's changemakers here in Hong Kong and I feel very good because I've delivered on one of the commitments that I made of our changemaker back in London 18 months ago which was to hold a Thompson Morris's changemaker here in Hong Kong. We've just completed a really, really successful morning with two fantastic panels and some wonderful speakers. One from McKinsey talking about change in Australasia um, and the wonderful Honourable Mrs. Anson Chang. So a wonderful event. I've still got to deliver on the other half of my objective, which is to get Thompson Reuters Changemakers to New York. So look out for that later in 2018. I thought the event today in Hong Kong on TR Changemakers was absolutely outstanding. In the spirit of press for progress, uh, I'm looking forward to a number of commitments that all of us have collectively made and some of us have individually made. On my part, my three big commitments are going to be what can I do within Thomson Reuters to, to help us to progress towards our stated goal, to have greater senior representation of women uh, within our organization. Secondly, uh, as a male ally here in Hong Kong, uh, I'll continue to advocate along with other senior men in Hong Kong to have greater amount of female representation within our organizations and more broadly in the workforce and the community in Hong Kong. And thirdly, as part of the 30% Club, I commit to continue to advocate for greater amount of women on Hong Kong listed boards.